What's up, Court Nerds? Time to get served. It's your boy, Phil. And if you think us law tube creators don't spend time talking to one another, you are sadly mistaken. Ms. Fields and I are like two groupies trying to find the next great clip for you guys. <laughs> and thanks to her, I found another Judge Bryant reprimand of not one, but two defendants back to back. So let's roll, nerds. All set. Have a great day and stay safe. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Mr. Marshall. You're welcome. All right. Are we ready on Deshaun Williams? Ready on Mr. Williams, Your Honor. I don't think I had anything for him. Or Mr. Wills, why you wait to for I come on then and walk? I mean, you should be in the place where you're gonna be. I I I've asked you all in the beginning of the court, remain seated, stationary, in an upright position, ready to attend court. I say it like five times. I have people, ma'am. I'm not me. sure. I'm not sure why you're interrupting me. I don't know why. I have no I have idea why you're interrupting me, but please stop. I'm ready on Deshaun Williams because wow. I didn't say remain seated in an unright position unless I didn't, I didn't. And I also said, please do not unmute yourself until asked to do so by the court. Like we give the instructions for court at the beginning of court. We do, we do, we do. This is case number 20602-1101, the people of the state of Michigan versus Deshaun uh, middle name may be Devon Williams. The defendant is charged with license plate, illegal use, driving while license suspended, revoked, denied, driving on an unregistered motor vehicle. Today is a day set for review at 10.05, meaning that at the last review date set by the court um, back in December that the defendant failed to appear. Ms. Stevenson, your appearances, please. Janice Stevenson on behalf of Mr. Deshaun Williams. Mr. Williams, sir. Please unmute and tell the judge your full name. Deshaun Devon Williams. Thank I you. I have somebody working on my ma apartment, sir, man. So, sir, sir, that's not what's going to happen. 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 That is not what's going to happen. That is not what's going to happen. Now, if that's how you need to attend court today, then you need not to attend court today. But you're not going to overtalk us. You're not going to explain your, your personal at-home situation to us because the court is open, ready for business. If your home was not conducive for you to attend court this morning, then you should have come in person. As I indicated, I'm not going to compete with whatever you have going on. I said that three or four times this morning. Ms. Stevenson? Um, your Honor, I actually am... I'm going to ask the court if I can just go back to break out with Mr. Williams. Well, you may need to because he's on his way okay. to get his probation revoked because I'm not real sure why he thinks that today he's going to be hostile towards the court. I don't I I'm just not have another sure. quick minute with Mr. Williams. Okay, you may have a lot of minutes with Mr. Williams to save okay. him from um, what he's getting ready to be engaged in. All right, I will send him to the breakout room. Okay. Is Miss Fan, oh, she's not here. Whoa, so Mr. Williams acting a fool and Miss Stevenson saves another defendant from the guillotine. Let's Five minutes later. And see if that's her. Okay. Okay. Must remain seated, stationary in an upright position and ready to attend court. No matter where I send you, you must remain seated, stationary in an upright position and ready to attend court. This is case number. <clears throat> 2-2-5-7-1-1-9-0-1. The people of the state of Michigan versus Andres. 
uh, middle name might be Tynik, it might be cut off, T-Y-N-E-C, Bohannon, defendant is charged with one count of uh, retail fraud, and today is the day set for final pretrial conference appearances, please. For the record, John and Christina Ritter on behalf of the people. Janice Stevenson appearing on behalf of Ms. Andrews Bohannon. Ms. Bohannon, ma'am, please unmute and tell the judge your full name. Hi, Judge. My name is Andres Tynesia Bohannon. Today is the day set for final pretrial conference. How are we proceeding? Your Honor, Ms. Bohannon will continue her plea of not guilty. Your Honor, um, I think we had a prior missed court date, um, but I am asking this to go on the jury trial track. Court will continue a not guilty plea on behalf of Ms. Bohannon, and I will place the matter on jury trial track. Did she, she missed her court date at the time that I was getting ready to give her a jury trial? Or was I she already so. on jury trial track? I think she was supposed to get on. Well, the note that I had is on December 15th, we had a final pretrial. We were adjourned to April 6, 2023 for a final pretrial to be placed on jury trial track court is going to place the matter on jury trial track setting a final pretrial date oh that's my I think I was setting final pretrials for at least February. Mr. Um, Flanagan, I mean, you the one capious, what you rolling your eyes for? You were getting ready to be on jury trial track. So now you're at the end of the line. So I'm not real sure why you're ro rolling your eyes um, at on the court. This, this is your fault that you getting a date in February. I was there, I was in the courtroom April 6th. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so now you're at the end of the line. So I'm not real sure why you're ro rolling your eyes um, at on the court. This this is your fault that you getting a date in February. I was there. I was in the courtroom April six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You didn't never let me in the uh, courtroom because I record. I, I recorded it. And it, I know it's a. I know it's a reason. Oh, she probably came very late. How many people do we not let in the courtroom? Can anybody I tell was, me if anybody, if I've never let somebody not come in the courtroom who were on time and ready for court? The court date was April 5th, Your Honor. Okay. She, she wasn't what? admitted. And what, April 5th, April 6th? So you, so Ms. Bohannon wants me to believe that she came to court on time and then we just left her sitting in the breakout room, I mean, waiting room. And we said, she, we not letting her in court. That's what happened. What date are your notes from, Ms. Stevenson? From, um, so on December 15th, um, it was placed, it's his final pretrial conference for jury trial track for 523, Your Honor. Um, mm -hmm. So December 15th, Ms. Bohannon, final pretrial conference held, not guilty, uh, continued, final pretrial adjourned to April 5th at 9.17. And then on April 5th, On April 5th, I heard Miss Brenda Holmes' case. I heard Cheryl Mosdrick's case. I heard LaShawn Davis, Amari Banks, Joseph Fields, Jacqueline Flint, Juan Moran, somebody last name Box, Jessica Jackson, Adam Mazon, Joseph Grice, Lakia Gill, Verde Wilson. I don't have anybody's name, Bohannon.
Mr. Mr. Flanagan, what happened on April 5th? What do the notes say for April 5th for Ms. Bohannon? It was a miscellaneous action and it was scheduled for final pretrial for today. But what happened? Probably was Ms. Bohannon, she came late. And was I was I in trial that day? April 5th. I don't see any trial notes on here. So Ms. Bohannon, she probably came late. And then I gave her the I gave the courtesy of um putting it on this date, but now what it should what what it appears it appears that perhaps it should have been at nine seventeen instead of at nine o'clock. But what Miss Bohannon is not going to do, so Miss Bohannon, let me tell you what's going on right now. What you're doing right now is equivalent to coming up to the podium and turning your turning your body to the side. Coming up to that podium, turning your body to the side. You're gonna stop doing that. You're gonna stop doing that. Now, if you continue to have an attitude, the matter is probably not gonna be resolved in the fashion that you want it to be. But if you can muster up some respect for the court and for the court process and indicate things in a respectful way, then we'll continue to look into what you're saying. So it appears that on April the, the 5th, Ms. Bohannon's matter was not heard. And the only reason that that could be because I would never not let a person into the courtroom because as we can see, I was present and working that day. And I clearly have nothing against Ms. Bohannon. I don't know Ms. Bohannon. And I would not have just said, I'm not gonna let Ms. Bohannon into the courtroom. Nonetheless, at the time that we adjourned the case, Ms. Bohannon should have already been on the jury trial track at 917. The record does not reflect a capius, nor is the matter set at 905. Therefore, since she was apparently already on the jury trial track, despite the fact that she did not indicate that in a respectful way, the court is going to give a jury trial date. No, that's too soon. But Mr. Flanagan, can you put a pen? Remind me to talk to you about a May 16th um, a trial that's on my docket. Remind me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.
All right, there was a case that the court had set for jury trial on December the 4th, and that case was dismissed. And that was Gonzalez. And so the court could set this jury trial for Ms. Bohannon on Monday, December the 4th. at 10.30 a.m. with a final pretrial conference. Of Friday, November the 17th. The final pretrial conference is at 9.10. Anything further with respect to this matter? Nothing, my people, Judge. Thank you. Nothing on behalf of Ms. Bohannon. Thank you very much, Your Honor. All right, and you're very welcome. And we are all set until November the 17th at 9, 10 a.m. Have a great day and stay safe. I am ready on. Well, there you go. Another gem from the 3-6. If you aren't subscribed to Mrs. Fields, you should be. And I'll add a link in my description below. Make sure to like, sub, set your notifications to all, and never miss a beautiful reprimand from our girl, Judge Bryant. I'm your boy, Phil, and you've been served.